Greetings to all who have clicked on this video. Today we will be looking at my LEGO Carcart on Tesoro Smoke 2, and just when you thought it was safe to watch silly LEGO videos. So, let's start at the head. The head looks reasonably accurate, I think, and has up and down at the base of the head, uh, at its base, I suppose, and at the base of the neck, which creates a very nice undulating pattern if you move it like that. The arms are very simple, <coughs> uh, they comprise of three pieces and are actually the same build as the original Karkar the Saurus Mock. So, yeah. So now the colour scheme, since we're at the middle, and that's where the colour scheme lives, obviously. Uh, it is somewhat loosely based on uh, uh, my childhood dinosaur book, and yeah, uh, I say somewhat loosely because as you can see the tail especially is a lot blacker than it should be and there isn't this black patch and the legs are not really this colour scheme, but I think it looks nice and it's it's unique and it's different to the previous one. So yeah, speaking of the legs. Uh, the articulation, there's a rotation at the hip, and uh, it's all noodly from the knee down, and that leaves lots of bullet holes, and not tremendous, and speaking of holes, bonjour, <laughs> and uh, speaking of bullet holes, bonjour, uh, yeah, but the tail does have a rotation, and obviously that mm, flop. And well, that can move about and isn't dreadfully secure, but oh well. There are also more useful articulation, like this. It's a very silly point of articulation, but it's there for a reason. It extends, and then it hinges. So cool! It's an extending joint, and our extending joint's cool. And you know what else is cool? Size comparisons. Minifigure. Utah Raptor. Shark. A fully minimized large theropod. For the purposes of uh, size comparisons, at least. And flipping over for the Spinosaurus. And flipping over again for the old Carcharodontosaurus. So, comparison. Well, the most obvious differences, I feel. Well, from this profile, are in the heads, where this one can hold its head proud and high above its spine. This one does not. It is uh, hunched over from working too long in IT, obviously. Uh, the legs are also different. This one has stiff legs from working too long in IT, <laughs> whereas this one has uh, articulated legs, well-articulated legs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The arms are the same build, <laughs> so that's fun. The tails now, uh, yeah, this one is a lot more articulated than this one, but this one looks nicer, I feel, so yeah. But in terms of looking nicer, and the main reason for an improvement in the first place, well, a sequel, I suppose. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this one has a no rib cage, and the legs are, well, the main impetus was actually the legs are not in beneath the dinosaur animal thing, which doesn't look good, whereas here they are in beneath the animal, and that's good, because that's kind of a defining trait of the dinosaur, yeah, that's at least partly why they were so successful. But, uh, you know, whilst I'm there, I might as well thicken up the chest area a wee bit. So, yeah, isn't that fun? However, there's one advantage. This one stands up like that. And this one takes it down because it can't. 